Okay, what happens if it doesn't factor out? So I could do, let's start with fairly easy. So if I gave you y equals, let's go 2x squared. We'll start easy, easy. I'll say 8x minus 5. Okay, this is going to boggle your mind, so I need you to pay attention. Okay. I still, first thing I do is still kick out the problem child. That doesn't change. But now there's red lights going off. I cannot complete the square with my leading coefficient, not a one. Pause. This is, we're at red lights, red warnings going off. I can't complete the square. You just please pay attention to this, and then I'll answer questions, okay? I can't complete the square with my leading coefficient, not a 1, okay? So I need to take out a 2. Now, it's very important that you realize, did I take the 2... Do you notice how I'm – basically when you factor, you're just dividing by that number, right? Do you understand that? Okay. 2 divided by 2 is just a 1. 8 divided by 2 is a 4, right? Do you notice how I did not touch that number right there? It did not get touched by a division of 2. Do you understand that? That's going to play a role here in just a second. Okay. So – Let's go here. Nope, I'm going to go here. So now I can complete the square. What's half of 4? Square it. So I add 4 here, which means what do I do out here? I subtract. Now stop. I can't just divide by 2 and think that things are still equal. Do you understand that? Just like I couldn't just magically add a 4 in there and think things are still equal. That's why I had to subtract a 4 out here. So what's the opposite of dividing by 2? But I'm only timesing this by 2 because I did not divide that by 2. So it doesn't deserve to get times by 2. Does that make sense? So that gives me 2 times... This becomes x plus 2 squared. And then I have this minus 5 minus 8 is a minus 13. So my vertex would be a negative 2, negative 13. I'm going to leave that up there and I'm going to give you another problem. Let's go y equals 3x squared Let's go minus 6x minus 1. Okay. Let's make it a plus 1 just to do something different. See if you can do that following my steps. Okay. So I still kick out the problem child. But now I can't complete the square with my leading coefficient not 1, so I divide by my leading coefficient. Now I can complete the square. Half of negative 2 is a negative 1. Square is a positive 1. So if I add 1 in there, I have to subtract 1 out here. But since I divided by 3, I need to times that by 3. So now I have y equals 3 times, it's always that number, x minus 1 squared. And then I have 1, but I go on the whole 3, so a minus 2. So my vertex would be 1, negative 2. Yes? That's not a 4, that's a 1. How does this... So, well, well, how does this change to this? 
If I factor this, what's the number that times by itself and adds to give you that? A negative 1 and a negative 1, right? Okay. So I could write that. I'm just skipping a step. I could write that as x minus 1 times x minus 1. Are you okay now, though? Okay. Okay, next one. Let's make it a little harder. Let's go 2x squared plus 5x uh, plus 7. Now, just watch this for a second. Or, no, I'm going to need to let you try this and see if you can get it. And then I'll go over it. And then I'll give you three or four problems. And then that'll be it. Okay, we kick out the we kick out the problem child. So I still have two x squared plus five x plus seven. I still have to factor out a two, so that's dividing by two. So I have a two that gives me x squared, and if I divide the five by two, I just get five over two x plus seven. And again, I told you the other day that to take half of a number, you either can double the bottom or take half of the top. So like if I want to know what half of two-thirds is, I could just take half of the top. But if I wanted to know what half of three-fifths is, I could just double the bottom. So whichever one works. So like here... The top number is 5, so I'm not going to take half of the top number, right? So I'm not going to use this method. I'm going to have to use this method. So half of 5 over 2 would be 5 over... So 5 over 4. And then if I... Once you take half, you square it. So 5 over 4 squared is 25 over 16. Well, if I add it inside, I have to subtract it outside but then I have to times it by two. So now I have two times, again, if I factored this, it would be x plus five over four times x plus five over four, but I don't wanna write it that way. I wanna write it as x plus five over four squared and then I have two goes in here once, two goes in here eight times. So I have a negative 25 over eight. I need a common denominator. So I times this by eight, I times this by eight, I get 56 over eight. So 56 subtract 25 is 31. A positive 31 over eight is my vertex. Okay, your homework problem is number one, y equals 3x squared plus 12x minus 17. That's an easy one. y equals 2x squared minus 7x plus 12. Number three, y equals... Let's make it a little harder because I'm only going to give you three. Oh, that'd be kind of mean. No. Do it. Okay. 19x squared plus 27. Yep. X minus 39. I am. I know. The nines make me want to think that it's divisible by three. It's not. And it's not. Nope.